Now, as I'm sure you're all aware, today marks the relaunch of our school newspaper, which Grantley's been overseeing in the past few weeks. Yeah, he's running a bit late. He said to send his apologies. Right. It's important that we all remember that this paper is our attempt to showcase the anti-gang initiative by painting an honest and, I hope, positive portrait of the school. It's the third time he's been late this week. Yeah, I'm going to talk. Now, I'm delighted to announce that the Rochdale Observer have offered to distribute the paper to the wider community. And as an insert in this week's edition, it's an opportunity to repair our reputation. Well, when's it got to be finished by? Three o'clock this afternoon. Hopefully, Grantley's already made considerable progress. So, I want it brimming with stories of academic achievement, triumphs on the athletics field. Work of fiction, you mean? This newspaper is our chance to really drum home what Waterloo Road stands for. Thank you. Oh. Any problems, you come and find me, all right? I'm not a special case. Hey, no one said you were. I've got those pills they gave you, are going to sort you out. You haven't forgotten the psychiatric nurses coming tonight, have you? I'll be there. Hey. It's good to see Josh back at school. Yeah. What the doctor say? Oh, nothing he hasn't heard before. You know, uh, not the smoking on the head, start eating healthily. But that's it. Well, what else would he say? Harley, what are you doing here? I'm waiting for Mr Budgeon. He's supposed to be giving me some extra tuition. How long have you been here? About an hour. Well, I'm sure Mr Budgeon's got good reason. Late night, was it? Oh, he needs to stop. I think we've lost Grantley. What about the paper? That's where I come in. Yeah, I thought we could divvy up the jobs, take on what's left. And believe it or not, Grantley's already assembled a few ideas and by the looks of things, he's dusted off a few of his old articles. I wouldn't have the first clue about putting together a paper. Oh, I've every faith in you, Nicky. Grantley's coming back, isn't he? That remains to be seen. Myself will be overseeing the newspaper from here on in. All right. This article is about the minor strike, which, as you know, led to the three-day week. Boring. You'll notice that it's written by someone we all know very well. Mr. Budgeon. <laughs> if you look back at his notes, you'll see that Mr. Budgeon typed the article by hand before handing it to the sub-editors to be knocked into shape. So, I want you all to take off your ties and use them as blindfolds. Ross! You into that kinky stuff, Miss, yeah? Before I let you loose on the job of a reporter, I think it's high time we addressed some of his sloppy keyboard skills. If we're going to be working to a deadline, we've got to improve on three words a minute. All right. Get a feel for the keyboard. Place your fingers on the middle row of keys. Start typing. I just want to get on with this. Then, how does Josh seem to you? He'll do anything to get out of the type of lesson. Lady, bread and butter pudding. Well, it's my man's recipe, actually. Sorry, Maggie, you've lost money. The newspaper. I heard you were looking for volunteers. I think we're striving for something a little more cutting edge than your mum's pudding. Please yourself. I know you're on the sub editor's bench, but we are desperately short on material. Okay, would you like me to write something? 500 words on being head boy. I'm going to need it ASAP. Yes, miss.
see that, please? See what? Whatever it is you've just slipped into your pocket. OK, we can do this the easy way, or we can do it. What are these for, Josh? They start me stressing out. The dots are game to me. <sighs> Sorry, I assumed. How are you getting on? Oh, still thin on the ground. Well, I've got an hour free if you need a hand. Lead the way. This is a disaster. Guys, we don't have nearly enough material for this paper. We're supposed to be enhancing our reputation, not diminishing it. Look here, we're trying our best. Zach, have you seen Harley? Not since lunch. Oh, just in time. If you can give your article to Zach to start formatting, please. There is no article. What? Mr. Budgeon sent you out this morning to find one. Great. That Tarry was supposed to be helping you. So did I. Uh, Miss Croft. That recipe. What about it? Perhaps there is space for it after all. Ah, well, who'd have thought of that? <laughs> Maggie Croft. The Fanny Craddock of Waterloo Road. <laughs> you wait till I tell my sister. Great. How are we doing? 35 minutes till we need to hand it in to Miss Bryant. Is this all we've got? Yeah. I was hoping for a last-minute burst of creativity. We can't afford to fail at this. I put a lot of time and effort into courting the Observer. I know. You can't knock their enthusiasm. They just lack journalistic bite. OK, would everyone stop working, please? Gather round. Come on. Look, this newspaper is our attempt to show the wider community just what we're capable of when we work as a team. So let's mix these groups up a bit. Everyone, take the article you've been working on and go and sit next to the person on your right. Let's go. Now, with fresh eyes, I want you all to decide whether your stories answer five fundamental questions. Who, what, where, when, and why. Who is involved? What happened? Where did it happen? When? And most importantly, why? Off you go. OK. Be honest with me, Emily. Would you want to read this paper? Not really, miss. No. Miss? I might too late to sort out something. Not perfect timing. <sighs> Any luck with your article? Sorry, miss. Miss? Oh, not now, Terry. Uh, I don't know if Emily told you, but we had a problem with the computer. It's all sorted now. This is really good, Tarek. Emily did most of it. Mr. Budgeon said he wanted stories about what was important to the community. Yeah. Emily, hold the front page. You coming or not? How long we got? Minus four minutes. Minus four minutes. Right. Just waiting on Mr. Chalk's photos and then we're ready to go. So is that it then? Yeah. Well, I hope Budgeon's pleased. Having knows doing all this donkey work. Still no word. I'll give him free. P45. <laughs> Right. Ooh. Who are they for? Janice Bryant. Craig wants to move in. It's a bit quick, isn't it? That's exactly what I said. Yeah, but I don't know what I'm going to do yet. It's too much pressure. I'm stressed with it all. Tell him you need more time to get to know each other. Yeah, beautiful though, aren't they? Janice. How's Grantley? His wife died. About an hour ago. Yeah, perhaps we should do this another time. What? Wow. 
Why didn't you tell me Josh was sick? We're dealing with it. It's going to take more than a couple of pills to put this right. Schizophrenia isn't something to be taken lightly. Talk to Michael. I'm sure there's help available. I don't want Michael to know, or anybody else. You don't have to deal with this on your own, Tom. <sighs> what is it with you men? Why, why is it so difficult to ask for help? Because we're a peaceful bunch. I got you and you saw. It's too early to tell. They, it could be because of smoking weed. They, they reckon he was always predisposed to it. The skunk may well have triggered it. Could be a one-off. If he relapses, then it could be schizophrenia. And Josh knows all this? No. You haven't told him? How can I? It took me one search on the internet, Tom, to find out what those pills are for. Next time it could be one of his classmates. <sighs> He's a bright kid, and it's not fair for him to be kept in the dark about this.